He is known for being the founder of historical philology and for establishing the English school of Hellenism. He is recognized for his groundbreaking investigation in textual criticism and his discovery of forged letters in ancient literature. His name is Richard Bentley. In the vast realm of classical scholarship, one name stands above the rest, Richard Bentley. Born in England, Bentley would go on to become a towering figure in the world of academia, earning him the title of the greatest scholar that England or perhaps that Europe ever bred. His impact on the field of historical philology was profound, shaping the English school of Hellenism. Bentley's fame was cemented with the publication of his dissertation upon the Epistles of Phalaris in 1699. Through meticulous research and analysis, he exposed the letters attributed to the ancient Sicilian tyrant Phalaris as nothing more than a clever forgery. This groundbreaking work established Bentley as a pioneer in textual criticism, a field that continues to regard his investigation as a landmark achievement. Not content with revolutionizing the study of ancient texts, Bentley's influence extended to the realm of education itself. As the master of Trinity College, Cambridge, he introduced the first competitive written examinations in a Western university. This innovative approach to assessment would shape the future of academia, ensuring that knowledge and merit were valued above all else. Despite his brilliance and scholarly achievements, Bentley's tenure at Trinity College was not without controversy. His autocratic demeanor and dismissive treatment of his colleagues sparked intense debate and even legal disputes. However, his intellectual prowess and unwavering commitment to academic excellence allowed him to retain his position until his death, more than 40 years later. Beyond his scholarly pursuits, Bentley maintained a keen interest in natural theology and the emerging physical sciences. He engaged in correspondence with none other than Sir Isaac Newton himself, and was entrusted with the responsibility of overseeing the second edition of Newton's Principia Mathematica. Richard Bentley's legacy as a scholar, critic, and theologian endures to this day. His contributions to the field of historical philology and his groundbreaking approach to education have left an indelible mark on academia. Bentley's story is one of intellectual curiosity, relentless pursuit of truth, and an unwavering commitment to the pursuit of knowledge. Richard Bentley, a renowned philosopher, was born in the humble village of Olton near Rothwell, Leeds, in northern England. Growing up in a modest farming family, Bentley's early life was shaped by the values of hard work and perseverance. His mother, despite her limited education, instilled in him a love for learning by teaching him Latin from a young age. With a thirst for knowledge, Bentley pursued his education at Wakefield Grammar School. It was there that he honed his intellectual abilities and developed a deep passion for philosophy. Recognizing his potential, Bentley was admitted to St. John's College, Cambridge in 1676. Through his dedication and academic prowess, he earned a scholarship and obtained his bachelor's degree in 1680, followed by a master's degree in 1683. Bentley's educational journey not only equipped him with knowledge but also instilled in him a desire to explore the fundamental questions of human existence. He delved into the realms of philosophy, seeking to understand the nature of reality, morality, and the purpose of life. His rigorous academic training and keen intellect paved the way for his groundbreaking contributions to the field of philosophy. Bentley's philosophy, rooted in his early life experiences and rigorous education, offers valuable insights that can be applied to our daily lives. His emphasis on critical thinking and intellectual curiosity encourages us to question the world around us and seek deeper understanding. By engaging with philosophy, we can develop a more profound appreciation for life's complexities and navigate the challenges we face with greater wisdom and clarity. Richard Bentley, renowned for his academic prowess and critical scholarship, emerged as a leading figure in the world of classical studies. His exceptional abilities as a critic and his command over relevant material set him apart from his contemporaries, earning him the admiration and recognition of his peers. As one observer remarked, to the small circle of classical students, it was obvious that he was a critic beyond the ordinary. Bentley's journey into the world of academia took an unconventional path. Instead of becoming a college fellow, he found himself appointed as the headmaster of Spalding Grammar School at a young age. This unexpected opportunity allowed him to meet prominent scholars and gain access to the best private library in England. Under the tutelage of Edward Stillingfleet, the Dean of St. Paul's Cathedral, Bentley's thirst for knowledge grew, and he immersed himself in the study of Greek and Latin writers. In his time as a tutor, Bentley's dedication to learning led him to conduct extensive research in the manuscripts of various libraries, including the Bodleian and Corpus Christi. He meticulously collected material for his literary studies, such as a compilation of the fragments of Greek poets and an edition of Greek lexicographers. It was during this period that Bentley's talents as a critic began to shine. 
When the Oxford Press prepared to publish an edition of the Chronographia, a universal history by John Malalas, Bentley was called upon to review and provide insights on the text. The result was his Epistola ad Johanna Milliam, a treatise that established Bentley as the foremost English scholar of his time. His ability to effortlessly restore corrupted passages and his unwavering confidence in his emendations set him apart from his contemporaries. Scholars recognized that Bentley possessed a unique talent for criticism that surpassed the ordinary. In addition to his scholarly achievements, Bentley's career encompassed various other roles. He became a deacon in 1690 and was appointed as the first Boyle lecturer, where he aimed to present Newtonian physics in a popular form and demonstrate the existence of an intelligent creator. Bentley's lectures and correspondence with Isaac Newton showcased his ability to navigate complex scientific concepts and integrate them with theological discussions. As Bentley's reputation grew, so did his professional appointments. He received a pre bendel stall in Worcester Cathedral and assumed the position of curator of the Royal Library. Although he faced initial challenges in obtaining the latter role, his friend's efforts eventually secured it for him, ensuring his contributions to the preservation and organization of valuable texts. Bentley's dedication to scholarship was recognized with his election as a Fellow of the Royal Society and the conferment of a Doctor of Divinity degree. Richard Bentley's academic journey exemplifies his exceptional abilities as a critic and scholar. His unwavering commitment to intellectual pursuits, his meticulous research, and his innovative approach to criticism positioned him as a leading figure in classical studies. Bentley's legacy continues to inspire scholars today, reminding us of the importance of critical thinking and the pursuit of knowledge in our daily lives. Richard Bentley, a renowned scholar and academic, was known for his dedication to restoring and preserving ancient texts. One of his major projects was the restoration of the Royal Library in Ashburnham House, where he tirelessly worked to bring the collection back to its former glory. Bentley's efforts were not in vain, as he successfully convinced the Earl of Marlborough to allocate additional rooms in St. James's Palace for the books. However, Bentley's commitment to the pursuit of knowledge did not end there. The University of Cambridge entrusted him with the task of obtaining Greek and Latin fonts for their classical books. With his resourcefulness, Bentley managed to have these fonts made in Holland, ensuring that the university had the necessary tools to continue their scholarly endeavors. Bentley's expertise was sought after by various individuals and projects. He assisted John Evelyn in his work on numismatics, providing valuable insights and contributions. Additionally, Bentley collaborated with scholars such as Grievous and Joshua Barnes, sharing his knowledge and expertise in collating and verifying ancient texts. Yet it was Bentley's accidental venture into his most significant academic work that truly showcased his brilliance. In 1697, William Watton asked Bentley to write a paper exposing the fraudulent nature of the Epistles of Phalaris, a subject that had long been a matter of debate among academics. Bentley's diligent research and meticulous analysis culminated in his dissertation on the Epistles of Phalaris, a work that would later earn him high praise and recognition. Despite initial resistance and criticism from Charles Boyle, the editor of Phalaris, Bentley's dissertation eventually gained recognition for its groundbreaking conclusions. The truth he uncovered about the authenticity of the epistles was not immediately embraced, but over time, his work became highly regarded within academic circles. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.